Wouldn't it be amazing if your smartphone could last more than one day without having to recharge? I'm Jessica Dahlquart for CNET here at Layden Energy in Fremont, California, where that is not just a beautiful dream, it is the future. I'm here with Mark Jesko, who is the Vice President of Research and Development, and they're working on a chemical composition that goes into batteries and helps them last longer. How does this exactly work? We've developed a new electrolyte system in here which can be used with any cathode or any anode material and this allows us to get very, very high energy densities within our system. We're using a lithium imide salt as opposed to the standard LIPS6 salts and this lithium imide salt is very, very stable. So basically it cuts down on the creation of hydrofluoric acid and that's what helps the battery last longer. That's correct. Okay, so now we're going to take a tour of your R&D facility here. What are we looking at with these arms popping out? And what we do in here is we get the materials ready for the battery. So right now Lana is preparing materials, she's weighing them out and getting them ready to put into cells. So Mark, I see that this is the cathode room and I'm looking now at a spinning cylinder. What is this? This is the active material. So the cathode active material, that's the positive. And what we do first is we take the active material powder, we mix it with a binder and put it into a solution. What's it called? This is the slurry. The slurry. All right, can we see it? Looks like some black goo in here, pretty much. That's correct. And we're gonna see what this goes on next and That's exactly correct. how this helps produce batteries. The next step is the current collector, where the slurry is coated and dried in a long oven. We wanna put as much active material into the cell to make the battery run longer. So to do that, we move over to this uh, calendaring machine where we compress the electrodes. The sheets are then cut into strips and then tabbed. And that's going to carry the electrons to the outside of the battery. Now the battery enters the winding room, where the anode and cathode are shaped into cylindrical or pouch cells. So this is one of our electrolyte filling stations. It's where we put the, our own proprietary lithium imide electrolyte into the cells. Now that the cell is made that's going to be part of the battery, Leyden isn't finished yet because now they have to do some testing. So we've got our trusty goggles here. And what's going on? This is an impact test. We take a 20 pound weight, we drop it two feet directly onto the cell. And it's meant to simulate an internal short circuit. We're showing that these cells are safe to transport on aircraft and also to get UL recognition. And the tests aren't over yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire a nail right through the cell and make sure that there's no fire, no smoke, no explosion. So you can see that's an excellent result. Battery performance is the last thing they'll test as part of their research. Now while you won't be seeing laden batteries in today's smartphones and tablets, they are on track to start cropping up sometime in 2013. For CNET, I'm Jessica Dalcourt.